Hey there, YouTube. 456 SWD 456 here. And tell me we're showing you the one of the best, if not the best, screen or game recording software. And it's called MSI Afterburner. This is really, this is highly recommended for uh, low end computers and, and mid mid end computers. And especially high, high end is good for it too because it doesn't use that much uh, resources for your computer. And it actually has really good quality. And yeah, I'm going to leave the link in the description and download this one or the beta but if you download the beta and you get an error saying contents that have it been expired then uninstall the beta and just download this one because the betas they expire for some reason I don't know why they have expiration type of date and if that if it expired the beta then just download this and then I already got that we got this one and once you download it open up the software it will look something like this Alright, it'll look something like this, and don't mess with anything like any of this, because this is, a, this is originally um, an overclocking software, so I would like recommend not to mess with any of this, if you're not familiar with overclocking, because this is the video, is about the video recorder itself, so once you come up to the screen, go to settings, so go to right a bit, and then video capture, that's where you want to go, it's going to say none on yours if you just install it fresh, and then you're going to have to change it to something else, like a hotkey, I have mine on F5, the quality was on 85 originally. I put it up to 90. I can put it up to 102, but I just leave it on 90 just to gain some uh, FPS while I'm recording. Frame size, I recommend half. You can mess. You can play around with this, but I use MPJG compression, 90% quality. Move the slider and half the frame size. And um, uh, yeah, that's all. This is all I use so far. And this is better than DX Tori and Fraps, especially Fraps. This just whack compared to this, in my opinion. And um, uh, this is a really good software, but if you have a more high-end computer, like probably like an Intel Core i5 or so or higher, I recommend just using DX Tori or something. But this is for the lower people, lower mid-range or low-end computers out there. You can mess around the settings and just mess around and record and stuff. And yeah, I use mine, and the graphics. I mean, the video quality is pretty good. And after, right now, I'm gonna be showing you the in-game testing of Mono for Three and Bad Company Two. Yeah, I'm killed!